welcome to Cat on the Mat Kids Yoga. My name's Kate and today's episode is all about snakes. In yoga we have a pose called cobra pose and here I have a picture of a cobra snake. Look how he rears up the top half of his body and these flaps of skin on the side of his neck, he splays them out. They're called his hood and this is to scare off any predators that might want to eat him. Aren't they clever? A cobra will make a nest for their young and lay their eggs in there and then they will sit on them until they're ready to hatch. Cobras are so clever. So today we are going to be learning cobra pose and this is Cobra Cat. Are you ready to start? Let's go. Find a space wherever you are. Breathe in, arms to the side and walk round in your space and make sure you're not going to knock into anything or anybody. Breathe in, take your arms up, stretch up to the ceiling, hold your breath. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Big sigh out. Breathing in, stretch, 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 stretch. Hold your breath. One, two, three. <sighs> Big sigh out. Last time, breathing in. Stretch, 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 hold your breath. One, two, three. <sighs> Big sigh out. Fantastic. Sitting down in easy pose for me. Legs crossed. Arms on your knees. Remember we breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. We're going to do the sound for a snake. So we're going to take a big breath in and then on our out breath we go We hold our arms to the side and we imagine we're squashing a big balloon until we run out of breath and we catch the breath. Are you ready? Breathing in. Well done. And again, breathing in. done. Should be nice and warm now. Should we do cobra pose? Come on, follow me. So find a space where you can lie down on your tummies. Forehead to the ground, pressing the tops of your feet into the mat, hands by the side of your chest. Breathing in and out, taking your time. Breathe in, we're going to raise a little bit, pressing in through the palms of the hands. This is baby cobra. And in baby cobra, you should be able to take your hands off. Look, no hands. And then we push through and we raise all the way up to big cobra. Shoulder and neck is loose. And we go Lowering it down. One more time. Breathing in. Lifting up. Baby cobra. No hands. Lifting all the way up. Don't lock the elbows, keep them bent. Excellent. Okay, have a stretch back for me. Beautiful, stretch it out. Lovely. Now, shall we do cobra pose in a salutation? A salutation is a range of yoga moves all put together in an amalgamation and some you may know, some you may not know. All you have to do is follow me and have some fun. Are you ready? Please stay facing your screen. I may turn to the side so you can see what's happening. I will start this way for the breath in. And breath out through the nose. Breathing in one more time. And out. And then we're going to roll down, stay facing forward, rolling down, chin to chest, soft knees, let the arms hang, let the head hang loose, tickle your toes when you get there, breathing in to a straight table back, and out, right hand, left hand, right leg, left leg, into your plank, lowering it down, 
pressing in through the palms of the hand, lifting up to baby cobra. Lifting all the way up to big cobra. Beautiful. Into your table back. You're going to breathe into the cow. Moo. And hiss into the angry cat. <sighs> Breathing to the cow. Moo. And hiss into the angry cat. <sighs> Curling the toes under. Popping your bottom into the air. Now don't worry if your heels don't reach the ground. You will get there. Breathe in. And lower the head and the heart centre down. Breathing in. And just hold it there for a minute. Right leg in the air, happy dog, shake the leg, circle the ankle, nice and straight, bringing the knee to the chest, into your lunge, bringing your arms up, breathing in, warrior one, shoulders down, reach with the fingertips, and then opening into warrior two, stretch with your palms, reverse goddess, Side stretch. Beautiful. Hands behind the back. Do not lock the elbows. Lowering it down. Humble warrior. Hands by the feet. Feet together. And slowly we roll up. Head last. Stacking the bones of the vertebrae one on top of the other. So you are in mountain pose. Ready to go again. Are you ready? Other side, breathing in. And out. Reach with your fingertips, breathing in. And out, rolling down. Stay where you are, roll down. Head down, knees soft. Let the head feel heavy. Left hand, right hand. Left leg, right leg. Into your plank. Lowering it down. Pressing up through the palms into baby cobra. And up into king cobra. Bringing it up onto all fours. Ready to go. Pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. Breathing into the cow. And hiss into the cat. Breathing into the cow. And hiss. Very good. Curl the toes under. Stick your bottoms into the air. Breathe in and breathe out as we lower the head and the heart centre down. Lift the left leg into the air. Circle the ankle. Give it a shake. Happy dog. Bring the knee to the chest. Into your lunge. Up into warrior one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Breathe in. As you breathe out, open into warrior two. Nice and strong. Reverse goddess, bringing it round into a side stretch, hands behind the back, humble warrior, hands by the side of your feet and slowly rolling up head last. Think about the spine, one on top of the other until you are in mountain pose and a gentle rise, weight slightly forward. Well done, yogis. That was fantastic. You mastered it. So, let me show you something. In India, especially with Hindus, they believe that the cobra is a sacred animal. So my cobra is going to show you something special. They have street entertainers called snake charmers. And they have a basket... And in the basket is a snake. And then the, the person that is playing for the snake has a flute, an Indian flute. And the snake charmer goes this way and that way with the flute. And the snake comes out of the basket and he rears up and he does a dance. Now people think that the snake was dancing to the sound. But snakes can't hear. Snakes only feel the vibration through the floor. But what the snake is actually doing is the snake is following the end of the snake charmer's flute. So I would like you to be the snake while I'm the snake charmer. And you are going to follow with your bodies making beautiful shapes, 
The end of my pretend flute. Does that sound good? Let's go. So you're going to curl up in a ball like you're a snake in a basket. And the lid comes off the basket. And you start to slowly think about how a snake moves. They're very smooth with their movements. And when you see the end of the flute, start to come out of your basket. There you go. And I'm playing the music. And you follow with your body the end of the flute. And sometimes the snake charmer takes it high. And sometimes I take it low. And sometimes I wiggle over here. And sometimes we stir it up, following the end of the flute with your bodies. And sometimes we get tall. Can you follow the end of the pretend flute with your bodies? And when you stand up, let's give it a wiggle. Can we keep our feet together and just move our bodies like a snake? Playing for the snake charm. Oh, and then all of a sudden the snake gets tired and the snake slowly moves back down into its basket. Very good snakes. Now it's time to do a mini savasana. Either sitting down with your arms and your hands on your knees or you can lie on your mat or you can lie on your side curled up like a snake wherever you feel comfortable. This is your time to relax. I just want you to take a moment to remember of all the awesome things you've achieved this week. Take that moment, breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Breathing in and out. You can close your eyes or you can let your gaze just drift onto the floor in front of you, wherever you feel comfortable. This is your time. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in and out. Bring your attention now to your face. And on the out breath, relax your jaw, your eyes, your forehead, your ears. Let everything just melt away. Breathing in and out. Bring your attention now to your shoulders. Give them a roll or bring your shoulders up to your ears. On the next out breath, <sighs> let them drop down. Breathing in and out. Let everything melt into the mat beneath you. You're a snake lying in the sun, under a tree, in a desert. Bring your attention now to your torso. Remember to breathe, don't hold your breath. On the next out breath, let everything melt into the mat beneath you. Everything, let everything be soft and gentle. Breathing in and out. Relax your arms, your elbows, your wrists, down to your fingertips. Give them a wriggle and relax. Relax in the tops of your legs, down to your knees, your calves, your ankles, your toes. Breathing in and out, let everything melt, let everything relax, this is your time, breathing in and out. And when you are ready, or if you're not ready, you can stay in your position your eyes flutter open. Well done.